So my name is Hannah Arts, and I'm a 17-year-old budding writer. I say I am a writer as currently I am. I don't know whether or not this will last, and I don't know if I'm any good, but unless and until Faith points this out to me, I'll be a writer. Throughout my life, I have lived in different places and experienced different lifestyles. I have been through a lot, but that's okay. I use it in my writing. I started writing around the age of seven, though I can't really say that I was any good at that point. However, I never quit, and one thing I can say with fair certainty, and that is that I have improved and grown over the years. No matter what journey you will choose to follow, or what profession you will aim to achieve, remember that all best-selling authors, world-class athletes, and famous celebrities began their journeys when they were none of these things. We can all achieve our dreams, so long as we believe in what we love, and this is what I hold on to. My inspiration is in my experiences, in the tough events that I believe could happen to anyone, but that are different for everyone all at the same time. I often find inspiration at the strangest times, needing a pen and paper at the oddest moments. In fact, I have my notebook and pen with me right now, and there's quite a story behind that. When once my family and I went on a trip around Lake Balaton, we were relaxing near the water when I had the sudden urge to jot down a new story that had bubbled up. I had no pen, no paper, nothing at all, and I knew that if the ideas would not be recorded, they would float away in the wind, and I might never see them again. So my dad and I set out on a journey, a two-hour long journey, to get a notebook and a pen, the very same items, I'm holding before you right now. I knew from the start I had to find them, no matter how long it would take and no matter how much I'd have to walk, but I just needed to find them. And I did. That's what it takes to be a writer. Perseverance. Famous authors, bestsellers, would tell you the exact same thing. Stephen King's Carrie was rejected dozens of times. And so was J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. William Golding's Lord of the Fly was rejected by 20 publishers, and John Grissom's A Time to Kill by 28. Where would they have been had they given up after their first 10 queries? Where will I be in several years? What if I don't follow my dreams, don't follow the urge to spread my knowledge and inspire others? People before have asked me, as an author, aren't you afraid of rejection or of never reaching an audience? And my answer is that, of course I am, and I always will be. But I'm standing here, and this is quite an audience, isn't it? That's all you can do as you chase your dreams, and it's the greatest advice I want to give all of you. Another thing I've heard people say is that you must be born to write, or you must write about what you know but I have to respectfully disagree with this. I think a writer can improve. It is not important whether this is by one's own standards or by best-selling standards. What matters is the sheer fact of improving continuously. Also, writing about what you know can help you make the scene come alive. You know what you're talking about, and this will shine through. But don't be afraid to build on your own experiences and extend them. As long as you are sure of your facts, you can explore and guide your reader on a journey. This is what I do in my own writing. This does, however, bring me to my next point, writer's block. Writer's block is the inability to proceed in a piece of writing, and I believe it happens to anyone and everyone who has ever written anything creative. However, as Ernest Hemingway said, all you have to do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed. And he is right. It may not be as easy as the quote might make it seem, yet it is vital to push through. The only way to keep going is to continue writing, no matter how much you might hate it as it flows out of your pen. There will always be time later to look back and edit, but you first have to write your way through the blockade to put the building blocks that will construct the house, brick by brick. Writing is magic. Why do I write? 
I want to recreate this magic, to spread messages, and to trigger thinking about important issues. When writing, just like with reading, we can live a thousand lives, while the ignorant person lives only one. That is why I write. Um, the above is an image of me with the Helix Literary Magazine, and I brought it with me, in which two of my pieces were published. One was a poem and one was a short story. Lastly, I would like to end with three of the best tips for any of you wanting to follow a similar path as mine. Always remember your reader. They are the ones to give the author immortality, and they should be seen as no less than that. Secondly, I urge all of you to find your routine. Writing daily can help you fight writer's block, and it will get your creative juices flowing on a regular basis. And thirdly, never give up. Fight through rejections, objections, and perplexions, and keep believing in yourself. As J.K. Rowling said, it is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. You can do it as long as you persevere. Thank you. <laughs>